Hello and welcome to another edition of Ariel's Cosmic Corner. Today we're going to try to do a mineral removal and what the steps are and how you can do it yourself. We're going to start off with this uh, program called Planetary Imaging Preprocessor or PIP for short. Now, and what this one will do is it's going to basically stack our images or find you know the best ones that we can do so what we're going to do here is go to add images when you're in the add images area we're going to select all and and in here it's going to say did you want to you know join mode because we selected more than one we're going to say okay and then for our options here Nice little preview of what it looks like. You can see here with the colors and the size of it. And what each frame we have one through a hundred. Down below, all right, on this option page here, we're going to select what we want to optimize this for. And I'm going to do solar lunar full disk. And you can see there's other ones here that you can do and how it's going to process those. And then on our tab section here, you just want to go through these. Um, I don't usually pick anything other than go to processing options. Make sure, this is important, that you uncheck this convert color to monochrome. We do not want that. Other options are on the right-hand side, how you want to uh, frame the stabilization mode. Here we want object planetary. Uh, the rest we can leave. We want to uncheck cropping. I do not want to crop this. You can if you wish on um, future stuff. Um, over here, quality option. Um, it's up to you. What this will do is organize each picture on whatever you select here. Um, if you do the algorithm here, um, it will do basically uh, the best to the least. Um, then other options here, we want to go to how we want to output our options. We want this to create a TIFF file for us. So then when we go to do uh, the processing, that's what the output is going to be. It's going to take your, your raw pictures and make them into a TIFF picture and we're going to do this over here and on this particular area here we're going to start the processing um, the pictures and when it's completed you're going to see it's going to do all one of 100 it's going to do all of those and this is your processing um, uh, like a bar processing bar okay it's going to let you know when you are completed so what we're going to do here is hit start processing and then I will be back with you in a second when it's completed. Okay, so PIP is completed and now we're going to open up another program where we're going to take those pictures and stack them. And that is called Auto Stacker. I'm using the 3.14 version and what we're going to do here is open the files that you just did, and, and when you open, we're going to select images because um, we didn't do um, a video. And again, you're going to select all your pictures. You can hit Control A, select them, or you can just uh, hold the Shift key and select them. And we're going to open. And what this is going to do is going to drop our pictures over here on the right. And on the left hand side are options in Auto Stacker. So we're going to click on Surface. And then the rest is pretty much what I have it as default. And what this is going to do is analyze each picture uh, for stacking purposes. So as we hit this, um, it's going to go through its algorithm and how it processes each item, each folder. And at this point in time, I'm going to pause. And I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so 
we're back. And as you can see, it analyzed the pitchers, one through 100. And then it gives you pretty much a quality graph on how each pitcher looks. But if you look over here, you can see it starting on one. And I can, I can go through these, and it'll show like pitcher number three, pitcher four, or all the way down. And to me, like none of these pitchers um, pretty much didn't change. To me, the quality is pretty good for all of these. So what we're going to do here at this point is you're going to add some uh, alignment points on your pitcher. So I usually do the highest, and it's going to place these on your image. And this is to align all the images. So all 100 will be aligned according to these points. And so I'm going to hit that. Over on the uh, left, you can see there's diff different ones. Uh, we'll get to these. But on the right-hand side, we're going to place the alignment grid. And what that's going to do is going to start popping in little alignment points throughout your moon. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay. So as you can see, all our alignment points now in there, 1137. And at this point, now we can do our stacking options. Number three here. And then in here, uh, frames percentage to the stack. So I'm doing 20, 50, 100 because I want to see the differences between how it stacks these different percentages. You can also stack by the number of frames if you wanted to. And I do not sharpen it. I just do an RGB alignment and then I save it to a folder. Down below is some advanced settings to do drizzle. We're not going to do that. Um, and then at this point, you're just going, we're going to hit. And now what that's going to do is it's going to start doing all our stacking options. And since I picked 20, 50, 100, it's going to do this three times. But again, you can only do it. You can do it once if you wish uh, under percentages. And we'll come back again once this is completed. Also, too, I wanted to note that depending on your computer and your processor, uh, this could take you know a while to process and do everything. So at this point, again, we're going to let this go through. It's going to stack all our options, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so auto stacker was completed, and then you can see from our file structure here that it put each one in its own separate folders: twenty percent, fifty percent, one hundred percent. And if you click on these, you can see what it did. This is twenty percent of what the moon looked like and how it stacked those together: fifty percent, one hundred percent. So at this point in time, we're going to go to ready stacks. And what this one's going to do is it is made to sharpen our image. So once this opens up, we're going to select and we're going to click on one of our moons pictures. We're going to say Stretch intensity, we're going to say no, we want to just do our own stuff. And what you're going to do here is go to the wave lifts, and these are going to modify our picture once this drops in. So now that it's dropped our moon into Registax, over on the left, the wave lifts, you can see we got six options of what we can do. And right now, this is zoomed in full size you can click on this button here that says show the full image and then as you do the full image when you select an area a particular area that is going to be the area that we're working with when we change a layer so that was to go to 100 here and then bump up my denoise a little bit up at the top you can See, there's a little minor, minor changes. And you can zoom in on these if you wish to see more, see less. It just depends on how you want to do this. And we're going to bump up some of the sharpening. You can see there it's starting to get a little bit clearer. 
and we're going to do the same thing as on these options here and you're going to do these again to your preference and how you wish and how you want to do this one thing that i will say is that you do not want to open uh over sharpen over sharpen take it into your processing editor like photoshop it's going to be hard to bring it back down so you do not want to over sharpen this and then again you just adjust these the way you wish so as you can see i'm doing a couple of these if you look here you can start to see some of the details that it brings out and starts to sharpen these down and makes it kind of nice but since this is like a beginner tutorial like how to do a mineral or moon we're not going to get too deep on everything uh the reggie stacks offer because you could do like an rgb alignment um, i did find that if you do an rgb balance uh within your picture and you take it to photoshop it starts to mess with the colors and the colors won't come out properly um so I'll, again it was like trial and error but again you can do what you want uh again make it more sharp you know depending on how your preference again, this is all artistic you know view of how you like your stuff so what we're going to do now is take our final image we're going to hit save and we're going to take this over into photoshop so i'll see you guys there all right so we opened up our image in photoshop and from here what i like to do is go straight to filter camera raw filter and this is where you're going to start like to change um, all your levels to bring out that color and where you want to go is straight to calibration and you want to put up the saturation on all three level colors. You can see it changed it a little bit. I'm up here, you can see in your histogram, it changed that as well, and what your colors look like. From here, you wanna go to basic, and we're going to change our white balance and scroll down, and we're gonna do our saturation on that. As you can see, it changed it quite a bit, right? And you're like, oh no, what did I just do? Then from here, what you're gonna do is go to your temperature and tint, and you're gonna adjust those so that this way they align the colors. So again, this is just like trial and error. So we're gonna push this down. So as you can see, as we start to push this down, the color starts to change. And as it starts to change and it collects, again, just depending on how you want to do this, right? Again, this is all part of changing uh, your colors to what you like. And so we're going to change these to make them kind of fit together without getting too crazy on one side or another, right? Well, you can see here, I kind of like this. That's like a decent amount of color. All of these pretty much are close to alignment. Uh, and then what you wanna do is at this point, you wanna take down your vibrance. You just got a subtle change, subtle, subtle change. And then from here, you're gonna change your exposure and modify everything else. Then once you're happy with what you have here, we're gonna hit okay. So you can see, this is what we started out with. Now it's gonna pop all those colors in. And then, and then, and we got some color. We're gonna duplicate that layer. So then as you can see, it's starting, starting to become pretty good. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. Create a, create a duplicate, and we're going to modify this duplicate in Camera Raw. Once that comes up, again, same 
technique. We're going to go to custom, I mean, not custom, calibration. And we're going to bump these all up. And you can see now, look at that. A lot of that color is starting to, starting to pop, huh? And go back to basic. Again, your vibrance. Now you're looking at it and you're like, oh, no, like I overdid it. Not really. Because once you, once you change these again, we're going to bring everything back where everything is pretty much in the same even keel. And then once you pop that back up, you can change, change basically anything you wish to so get, get a feel for it. Get a feel for the colors, how they change as you do highlights, shadows, so forth. Uh, you don't again. You don't want to go too crazy, but we're gonna. We're, as you see, it's starting to starting to come alive. So here, here you're done. We're just gonna hit zero here, fill that out, and then there you go. So we pop in a little bit more color, and then you're gonna click OK. So the object of all of this is, again, your preference on how you're going to want this to look without getting too crazy. But as you can see, everything's starting to come alive. So once you do your colors and your calibrations, you can see everything's starting to pop out. And then for me, you know, I like to do is uh, put my name on it and do the final final touches right, on the layers. And then there we go. And so then there you go. This is your mineral room. As you can see, so we took it from um, your, your 100 images. We, we collected those, made those really nice from one to 100. We took it in the auto stacker, stacked those 100 into one image. We took it to Registacks. Registacks, we sharpen your image up, uh, what you like, so it brings out some of that detail. And then in Photoshop, we brought out your colors. You can see the mineral moon is now here with all the little areas of the deposits of what the color kind of like looks like. And there you have it. Mineral moon completed. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. I appreciate it. And clear skies, and we'll talk to you later.